When you talk about global cooperation, one of the things that's brought to mind is the Paris Accords. And you have an op-ed out with the former Secretary of the State, uh, George Shultz, today in the Washington Post, in which you're proposing a very different approach to basically getting our arms around climate control in what you call a carbon dividends approach, which sounds a lot like a carbon, carbon tax to me. But why do you think that this is doable in the United States today? Look, I think it's in everybody's interest because the idea is that by using prices rather than heavy-handed regulation, we address climate change in a way that's better for business. Look, how can a proposal that taxes fossil fuels and is endorsed by Exxon and British Petroleum possibly really be doing great damage to uh, the energy economy. The truth is it'll help the energy economy by moving away from uh, the kind of command and control regulation that we've relied on for uh, too long. At the same time, this builds in a constituency because every American is going to share an equal proportion in the revenue and is going to receive a kind of dividend much like the citizens in Alaska receive a dividend as a result of Alaska's uh, oil wealth. So this is by creating the dividend, it is providing an entitlement for all Americans that they will value, and it's removing the regulation that's been most worrisome for business. So it seems to me this is very much a win-win approach, and crucially, Unlike the current approach, it stands up for U.S. interests through a border adjustment that makes sure that U.S. producers won't be at any kind of competitive disadvantage because of the step we're taking. And so for those of, in our audience who might not have read the op-ed piece, but I'm sure they're going to now, as I understand the basic f theory is you'd have a, a certain tax per ton of coal, $40 I think you talk about, and that money then would be distributed to the populace overall. How would it be distributed? Is this progressive or regressive? It's progressive because it's the same amount for people with every income. So if your income is $40,000, it's going to be the rebate is going to be a higher fraction than if your income is $80,000 and higher and higher by even more than if your income is $200,000 or $2 million. So this is about the most progressive approach you can take uh, to climate policy while at the same time being very good for business because of the regulations that will be removed and being very good for competitiveness because of the uh, border adjustment. 